Right. I greet you all to Bishop Sam David Easy. This is a platform where you get a spiritual understanding. We have an interesting topic for you today to discuss. So once you have come, just like the notification, subscribe to the red button, and then share it to as many as you can. Give it to a friend to give it to a friend also, and then you will be blessed. All those watching me from outside Loka, I greet you all. This is Bishop Sam David for you. And this, the topic we are coming to discuss today is very, very important that you need to listen. It's very, very important that you need to listen. Because many Christians are going disarray. They are going wayward with a little thing. Altar in family. Altar in family. Altars in our family. You cannot use yourself to compare with a white man. You are a black man. You are an African. And we have an altar. And the Bible is full of break altar, form altar, break altar, form altar. How many altars have you broken? And how many altars have you formed? Those are the things we are here to look at. And finally, I will tell you how you are going to form an altar. Or how you can join yourself to another altar to fight against your altar. We pray that the Spirit will come and live with us. So that at the end of the day, things will be successful. My pastors, you're welcome. Thank you, How do you see church service today? Let me start from you, Sofa Yola. Uh, let me thank you. Today's church is marvelous. Mm. Uh, very fantastic. Mm. Yeah. But, it's my going. So today, what and what tells you that the, the church service was mind blowing today? What can you pinpoint? The, your, pre your teachings, your preachings, and the way the people are receiving the message. Mm. Today, the preaching that came out, uh, you know, as a pastor, you know, have you been seeing those type of messages around? No. So the message is unique. The message is unique. Now the listener wants to know what do you take from the message? What actually hit you from the message? Uh, today I think okay yes today your preaching you are talking about uh, God can use Satan to do something mm -hmm. so you need to be uh, vigilant okay uh, you need to I mean protect yourself mm -hmm. or you need to uh, uh, cover yourself with some power or some spirit so that Satan cannot uh, get chance to destroy you mm. and your your Christianity. Okay. So that's what I need to do. That's right. <coughs> so for you, man. Baba. You welcome on board. Thank you. Uh, what do you say about today's service? Today's service is very, very nice mm. today. Mm. Uh, the power is too much. Mm. Uh, and what I, I said, the atmosphere is very tight mm. for, for, the, for the word of God. This morning of this service, mm. so this service is today's service is very powerful. Mm. It's very, very powerful. It's very, very powerful. What can you share to the listeners wow. that makes the service powerful to you? Um, today's service. What, what I'm, I'm going to tell you this this evening. Mm. Today's service is very powerful. What I'm going to say is that uh, our Papa came on, on on the pulpit today. What 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 God has given to him. It came on the public giving to us. It's mm. very powerful. The word is very powerful. Mm. Uh, the, the main topic on the word today mm. is, is uh, the, the enemy or the Satan is agent. Mm. Mm. It's the, uh, the Satan working for God. Mm -hmm. So Satan is even working for God. That's it. Mm -hmm. So the Satan is, is even working for God. So mm. you, you, the person or as a woman, you need protection. Mm -hmm. Both spiritual and physical. Mm -hmm. you, you, your work and your family, you mm -hmm. need to protect yourself. So do you believe what that message that Satan is working for God? Yeah. Because this is a strong message that other pastors would like to debate on. Mm -hmm. How can a pastor say that Satan is working for God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. How can you say Satan is working for God? I think I've explained it. Yeah, you explained it. Yeah, so can you clarify? It? So, so uh, our Papa explained it uh, uh, for us in, in service uh, this uh, this morning. Uh, Satan, when Satan uh, trying to test a job, mm -hmm. he go for he go for uh, 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 he went to he God. went to God mm -hmm. 
but go to God give him uh, 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 God, God allow him, allow him yes. to go and test Job. Yes. So when when he tells Job, he didn't get a job. Job chapter one verse six to twelve. That's it. Now, so Satan went to God and, and said that God asked him, "Where have you been to?" Mm. Then God said, "I've gone to the earth to roam it, mm. seeking whom to destroy it." Then God said, "Have you seen my servant Job?" Mm. He said, "Oh, that servant, because he has been, you have given him everything. That is why he's righteous. Yeah. If you like God." Take everything from him mm. and say, in this point, I said Satan is even an angel to God because why is Satan and God communicating? <laughs> Are you getting yeah. this? Where have you been? It means a messenger has gone somewhere, has come to give a report. Now, God, Satan instructed God that take the power mm. from, take those things from Job. But God didn't take the thing from Job. God did what? God said, okay, you Satan, I give you that power. Go and do it yourself. So who is an agent here? Who is God sending here? Satan. Is it not Satan? Yes. Yeah. Ah, God is sending Satan. Now, the sense I'm saying Satan is even an agent means that if you don't know, you fall in the hands of Satan, it will destroy you. And you'll be praying to God, but no, to no avail. God say I made Pharaoh harden. Yes. Every prostitute there is an agent. Every malam or fetish spirit is an agent. Just unlike uh, pastors who are agents, they are also agents. And today I made and understand that God has everything. But God cannot do anything without man's involvement. Your job you wanted to get is not in the hands of God. The marriage you want to get is not in the hands of God. The breakthrough you needed is not in the hands of God. God cannot physically present. So God presented it to a man. For a man to bless you. To glorify God. So if you are praying directly to God. God said I have released the thing long time again. But it's already in the hands of the man. So if the man decides not to give it to you. He doesn't give it to you. Your blessing is in the hands of what? Man, are you getting my point? This is my studio, is that not it? Yes. It is not yours. No. But if I give you this key and I say I'm coming, call, 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 you say who? He says it's me. You decided not to open it to me, I cannot come with you. Yes. Even though the place is mine. Yes. Unless I have to beg you. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. <laughs> so God has already given a man that thing. He holds it. So God cannot do anything again. He has given your blessing to somebody. That is why people need us to know how to talk well. People need to love everybody because you don't know where you will be tomorrow and whoever is holding your key. These are the messages that put across uh, today. And then we had a fantastic testimony to today. And even after the service, uh, 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 you can see there was a, a lady whom you people know. When I was praying for people, she came, she was the only person who came with water. I don't know if you watch her. Did you watch her? Okay. So when she came with the water, in fact, the the daughter was there ten days without going to toilet. Somebody being there ten days without going to toilet, and I pray for the water. Ten days too, they took all the medicine to no avail. She will come and give testimony. She said she went to the school. Once she gave the water and she drank about half. Then she said, "My stomach, my stomach. The stomach was very bloated." She went to toilet and came out. The stomach was flat. Mm. Wow. Wow. Ten days. Wow. God is so wonderful. God is so wonderful. God is so wonderful. A solution center is, is, is making a great, great thing. So if you are out there and up to now you are still doubting, no. I, I, I don't think you have to doubt like that. Mm. You just have to take a step. A best teacher cannot teach a best student at home. Hmm? The best teacher is in a class. Then the best student at home, how can you teach? Or a best doctor cannot med give a medication to a patient at home. It's not possible. Unless you come. Are you getting it? Now, that is just by the way, listeners, we are moving on to all text. All text. All text. Before I, I come in, we want to look at something. So I want to pick for my pastor their view about all this and then I will come in. So stay good. Don't go to
to anywhere, just subscribe and then like, share it. You will benefit from here. The reason why that marriage is delaying, the reason why that paper is delaying, the reason why that your marriage you cannot get peace, the reason why you travel everywhere but no financial breakthrough, you'll get it right from here. When we say altar, as a pastor, what comes into your mind? Papa, remember Thirteen, 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 four, thirteen. Mm -hmm. But ye shall destroy their altars, 
but you shall destroy their altars. Uh -huh. Break their images. Break their images. And cut down their groups. And cut down their groups. But thou shalt worship no other god. Mm. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Mm. 13. What are you 13? I'm done with 13. Okay, that's fine. Yes. So as we can understand, it, it means that altars are images. Altars are formations. They have formed them, and then they prayed for. Now, everybody who have an altar didn't get the altar for a bad mentality. It has the altar for a good thing. But when that person died and gone, that altar begins to speak evil things. In the life of Joshua, before God sent Joshua, God must instruct Joshua that break down your altar. And reform another altar before. Now it happened uh, Abraham. Abraham too must destroy altars before God's victory can come through. Yeah. Now, if you have altar in your family, no matter uh, your language, no matter where you travel, what happened is that that altar continues to fight against you. People's altar is like the family, they don't get money. You travel everywhere, but you don't get money. So when that altar is not being broken, there is no way you can get that money. Now, uh, so for you, my master, I had an issue that people go to pastors, mm -hmm. they pray for them, mm -hmm. that they have taken away the altar. Huh? Mm -hmm. They done direction that they've taken away the altar, but they travel. But still, the problem is there. What could be the cause, Master? As you are saying, the altar, altar didn't spoil. Mm -hmm. but as you are saying, the person they, go, they 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 bring that altar in the family. Mm -hmm. If the, that person dies, there is a problem for the family mm -hmm. because that person know I use this water. To pray for the uh, the altar. The altar, yes. I use this Bible to, to feed the altar. Mm -hmm. So the, when the person is not there, who are going to use the uh, the water or the Bible to give it to the altar? To give the altar. Mm -hmm. So as you are saying, the altar started bringing bad things, mm -hmm. working against the family mm -hmm. negatively. Mm -hmm. So if, if you do that person, if you don't arise, and that's one Sunday now and I'm also a Papa. You will be late in life. Wow. Yes. Yes. So for you now. Learn this. The altar we are talking about is a serious thing here. Mm. We want to find out and give solution to people how they will break their altar. Finally, we want to give solution to people. And to break altar, it has certain procedures. Yes. First of all, you need to locate a powerful man of God who has done that before. If you don't locate that person, he may try to break it, but he will even endanger the altar. The altar will even fight against you the more. Now, is it good that everybody, we are all coming from the same family, there's a particular altar fighting against us? Is it good for one person to remove himself from that altar, or that person will fight uh, uh, with all the family? Uh, you understand my question? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Daddy, uh, yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. One person can remove himself that I'm going to look for solution mm -hmm. so that this order will not fight against me. Against him yes. and the children. And the children. Okay. So you can vote yourself, you can decide that. I am and I am going to give up some baby mm -hmm. to go and look for solution, fighting against uh, my family order, mm -hmm. so that I can remove myself, my children. Mm -hmm. uh, that person can decide, can say that I want to save my family. Yeah. So let me go to give up some baby mm -hmm. and go and find solution for my family, mm -hmm. so that this order will not spoil us, mm -hmm. because our our father. With the person who brought that order, mm -hmm. but he's not there. He's not more, more, more. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this order is destroying us. 
Mm. It's following our business, our money, and everything. So uh, that person can put up and say that I'm going to look at the only possibility for that uh, altar approval. Okay. Uh, read Numbers 23, verse 1 for me. Numbers 23, verse 1. Numbers 23, verse 1. Numbers chapter number 23, verse 1. And the Bible says, Numbers chapter 23, verse 1. And the bomb says unto Baal. Mm. Mm. Numbers chapter 23, mm. verse 1. Mm. And the bomb says unto Baal. Mm -hmm. Good ye ye. Mm -hmm. Seven oxen mm -hmm. and preparing ye mm -hmm. seven ox mm -hmm. and seven rams. Mm -hmm. Chapter number two. Mm -hmm. No, one is okay. Oh. That was when they wanted to curse the son of Israelite. So they were having altar. Mm -hmm. The Israelites were having altar. They were moving with altar. Mm -hmm. So no curses fight against them. So they have to form seven altar to curse them. But even that, when they form the seven altar, when they curse them, Cats tend to be good blessing. Even to that, how strong? Look at how strong the cats was. Uh, the altar was with the Israelites. Look at how strong was it. But with that altar, Israelites went into captivity. So altar can destroy your marriage, but can give you money. Altar can destroy uh, your money, but give you marriage. Uh, that's why you see some people marrying a beautiful woman, mm. but they don't have money. Mm. So a rich man somewhere will come and collect the woman from you. That is true. That's why we are going. We are going deep, back. <laughs> we are going deep. Yes. Yeah, it's because your family, no, the altar there, yeah. you cannot make it. Yeah. Going deep. But the woman you have is very beautiful. Yeah. So somebody. Author in the family give him money, yeah. but he didn't give him proper woman. That's so it. he used the money collect your woman from him. That's it. <laughs> then he become empty and dead. So when he asked the woman, the woman said, ah, "Me, I can't be there suffering like that." Mm. <laughs> he goes away. I, I said, author, somebody bought a plane. Eh? He told we have author, and the the uh, the old lady told the man that we don't bought a plane. You cannot fly with plane. So don't join plane. Mm. He said, no, those were the days. Mm. But the woman said, no, we vow that anything fly in the air, mm. nobody should join it. Mm. The guy said, no, the civilization, the word is, the, and the guy who has gone to school, he got a proper work outside. He joined the plane. When the plane landed there, the whole white people came to welcome him, that the job is waiting for him. Is the able one that can do the job. I mean, a very credible job, mm. a good job. Mm. Before they realize, he's not having one shoe on the leg. <laughs> Yet he wore a shoe from Ghana to that place. He said, "Where is my shoe? Oh, how come the shoe got missing?" He went to the place looking for the shoe. Mm. So the white people, are you crazy? Mm. This guy must be mad. Let's go back. Mm. The work spot. So when he got back, the old lady said, I told you, mm. the, oh, the water fighting. <laughs> Have you seen it? Okay. So the water is a very something serious. There was one guy who traveled with the white people. They move every place. Uh, he shows, he's a historian. He shows everything about the white, but he has not gotten a single room in his hometown. Mm. Water is fighting people day and night. And God knows about this altar. And God even respects altar. So when God first called you, He first changed your name. That's it. So that what altar will not fight you. So listeners, first step is what? God, when He called you, He first what? He changed your name. Let's look in the life of Abraham. Abraham's father is called Terah. Terah, they worship this Baal, Adol, and this thing. They sacrifice everything. So Abraham was there. So God told Abraham that what? I have to change your name. And you have to move from that place to another place before I'll be able to bless you. Look at the altar in the life of uh, uh, Saul. Mm. Is it not Saul so. who was killing people? Uh, yes. Killing people? Yes. Is it not, is it not yes. The, yes. What was his name? Saul, right? Yeah. That he take a letter and they slaughter people. Mm. So when God called him, what happened? The name changed. Mm. He can't Yes. Yes. 
So there are some authors, before you redeem yourself, your name must be changed. Without the name, no. Now, you bear the name, uh, Kobana, Kobana, Yahweh Yahweh. And Yahweh Yahweh is the author that is formed with the signing. So everywhere that name is being pronounced, that author comes to speak. Even God knows author is a strong thing. So he called you, he changed your name. When he called Joseph, he changed his name. You know Joseph is Latin and he changed his name. He changed his name. Sarah too, he changed his name. Look at uh, Joseph, uh, Jacob. Jacob, look at the author. Jacob has been blessed by the father. We were told that he blesses, he blessed Jacob and live what? He suffered. So somebody that you bless there, you shouldn't suffer. But Jacob was suffering. Until he was praying to God. What happened to Jacob? The name came. To where? Period. Because Jacob was saying good things, the name changes. Now, those people that have changed their name, or God changed their name, are they not having certificate in education? Those times you may say education is not there. But even Peter is professional in fishitology. <laughs> are you getting me? Yes, yes, he yes, studied yes. fish very well. Yes, yes. The level they had that time before you get there is not easy. Sure. The one who Paul, before his name changed, Paul was a judge, yes. a very lawyer, who, who knows everything. But he changed his name. He went to he went to swear as if David in court, everything to change his name. Yes. How much more you continue to say the Uza Gasasa Jomboli? And all the signing continue to say it. The author follows signing. Number one. Every author follows signing. Two. Every author follow the name you were given at the day they give birth to you. Because in your family they were there. When they say, let's call this person Stephen. Stephen can be a Christian name. But will not give you the benefit of the Stephen in the Bible will give you benefit of understanding of the author in your house. Because they pour libation that day, they pour a drink down that day. There are people who were part of the of this thing, they pour it that day. Unless you change your name, Stephen. Now, you see what happened when the person was in the plane and the shoe was removed. Yeah. The same thing, when they were giving you Stephen, they were giving drink to people, they were drinking, they say, oh, Stephen. You are welcome to our family. Mm -hmm. We accept you well. Oh, then the poor one. We accept you well. Stevie, you, you will be a great farmer in our village here. You will be the champion here. So if you don't go to your hometown and be a champion, why are you going to be a champion? Mm -hmm. They cursed you from that day. They give birth to you. Well, let's go, there you. go there and be champion. Mm -hmm. Now you don't want to farm. You want to go to outside. Mm -hmm. They have changed your destiny from that day, number one. So your destiny is where it is in the farm. So you have to be at your hometown. You should be a farmer. Yes. Simple. Hey, Stephen, you are good. Ha! Hmm. Because those times, if you marry ten, if you marry five, then you are champion. Mm. So they will use this. Oh, Stephen, your father married five and nobody was able to marry like him. You beat your father, you marry ten. You beat your father. You see that water? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You will be following women like something. <laughs> You see how things are fighting against people. That Stevie will be a woman Stevie. That Stevie will be a woman Stevie. So these are the critical things that we need to look at. Now you don't stand up and change your name. No. no. You have to seek the face of God. Which name do I take? That will benefit me. And that is when I thought that time that everybody has a spiritual name. Even Jacob has a spiritual name. So you look for your spiritual name and then you take it. So, so for you now, if you have questions, I'm listening before we continue. Uh, that is my first question. So right now, what can I do to move myself from uh, my family or mm -hmm. Yes. 
So number one, you need to investigate. What sort of water is it? Water. What is what type of water is it? If you know, then you either form your own or you join yourself to another water. When I say you join yourself to another water, is something happened in the life of uh, David. When uh, Saul wanted to kill David, David ran into uh, a church church place premises. Then the Saul soldiers also went there. You realize that the Saul soldiers were not coming back because the Asmophia arrested them. So Saul said, "No, he's going himself." When he went, he was also speaking in tongues because there is a, an altar there that is bigger than the altar Saul is carrying along. So if you join yourself to an altar which is bigger than your family altar, then you win completely. Are you getting the point? Yes. yes. So your side, which question do you, do you think you Papa, will have that? Yeah. Thank you once again. Mm. So Papa, my question is, how can you change my name mm. to remove my name from the family altar? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody's name is uh, Yao Pra. Mm -hmm. Pra is a river. Okay. Okay, Pra is a river. So if that person name is uh, Yao Pra, how the per that person will change the name from the order? Okay, so the Yao Pra was born in a day, yes, and a month and a year. Okay. So when you get the year and a month, last time I was teaching that you have to combine everything and calculate the numbers. Yes, when it falls on one, it tells you the day, it falls from two. It tells you the name. Then we have about nine numbers. Yes. We telling you the name. That is when Yao Pra will get his name there. Okay. That then he will get the Yao name. Then the Pra, he can decide to join himself to another altar. That is what I'm saying. That maybe you have seen a family. There are some families. Ask for money there. If you join that family, you you will prosper. I don't know if you seen something. What is there? The sign name. That sign yes. name. They are okay. Yes. And there are some fami families, they only go to service, police, 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 yes. police. If you go, they don't deny it. Are you getting There are some families only suffering, suffering, suffering. So you have to join yourself to another altar. Yes. And when you remove your name, you have to seek the face of God. You seek the man of God who will intervene your behalf. Yes. And then he will give you a name. He will give you a name. That name, God's spirit will back it. And everything will be going well. Amen. Amen. So, viewers, Bishop Sam David, I am here with my pastors, and we are discussing about family authors. How can you break your family altar or generational altar? That's what we are discussing so far. And we gave one step to be that change of name is very, very important. You may have names on all your documents, but it will be very important to change it is very important now you know um because of this author i changed my name and god is helping me because i have the grace eh? god has given you the thing but it's not working god has already released it so if you are praying you are fasting god say why are you worrying me i'm giving you the thing until I changed my name, then the grace started to work. Then one day I went to Togo for funeral, where you are where those times, yeah. where uh, uh, my in law, my father in law died. When I was going, they said you have to pay money before you cross. But when I mentioned my name, my changing, Bishop Sam David, they said, oh, yes, I pass, pass, pass. So I thought it was the name Bishop. I went. The following day, when I was coming, I mentioned Bishop again. Plus, my real name, Bishop Samuel, is and so what? It means it is not about the Bishop, it is about the name. It is about the name. So, it's very important. But not everybody that must change name. There are some authors, they are critical. Like where I'm coming from, it's critical one. It's a one. So you don't, if you are praying, you are just helping them. 
You are making them awful. Aha. So, no. So, you have to change them and be free. But there are some waters you need not to change in it. You can see a man of God, but you see me, and then we'll consult God, and then we'll just break it up. That's it. Amen. Bishop Sam David TV, we are making it happen here, discussing about uh, destroying or how you can deal with your uh, uh, altars in your family. Your marriage is result of altar. Your money was result of your altar. Your businesses are crumbling because of what? The altar and the family you are coming from. So it is important for us to pause on a junction and stop praying always and look back. Where are we coming from at all? How can we pick up the pieces? That will help us very much. Amen. Amen. Yes, so for your man, I welcome your question. Uh, Papa, Mr. Cho, can anyone now who folks can't see me? They were with you, you know, man. Say, with you, you That can lie in the deal with you, and with you, you But I'm with you. Yes, yes. Please do get my point. Mm -hmm. I didn't get your point. I don't seek you. I didn't get your point. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. That family, mm -hmm. they give back. They give back. They, 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 there's no money in that family. Yes. yes. Only time. Mm -hmm. So one of the person in that family, I said, so I'm going somewhere. Yes. To change something. Mm -hmm. Bring a different altar yes. into a family. Perfect. So that that altar mm -hmm. will provide a money for us. Mm -hmm. But it, that, that altar will not provide anybody in that family. Mm -hmm. There is no birth in that family. Mm -hmm. So you see that the family, the family have a money, but there is no child in that family. Mm -hmm. If you are a man or a woman, you cannot give birth mm -hmm. because of that altar. Mm -hmm. So this these two things, what we are going to do, a thing for those people mm -hmm. to bring, bring to or having a child or those things in our family. Mm -hmm. That the second person to have wrong because because of the money he has forgotten when they get the money they need a child the future people will be coming yes. and they need child so the two authors are not good they need to break it and form another author mm -hmm. they need to break it form another author okay. Okay. Thank you. that's why they need to contact or get to a powerful man of God to decide how they are going to do it yes. I remember there's one man when I started, it's called Agbala okay. from Nigeria, Agbala. So the name Agbala was a Nigerian name and the father before happened to be a chief. The father happened to be a chief. Now the father always give birth to a, a female child, a female child always. Now they need a male child to succeed the kingship. Now, the father pray everything but to no avail. So, the father went to Agbala. The God, the power, the power is called Agbala. He went to Agbala that, Agbala, if you are able to help me give a male child so that he will take over me the kingship, I will give your name to that child. Forever and ever. Then we will start having a, a, a male child. So, Agbala gave the male child to the king. Mm. So they ensued this person. So ever since, when the other people were coming, what happened was, Agbala, uh, the sign name became Agbala, Agbala Johnson, Agbala Stephen, Agbala Laira, Agbala Yao, Agbala, Agbala. So any Agbala person that travel doesn't prosper. Mm. But you give birth to plenty to a male child, not female child. You give birth plenty. Are you getting me? You give birth plenty to a male child, not female child. So when Agbala guy came to me, I said, okay, mm -hmm. this one has been in the family. Mm -hmm. You need about seven people from your family to assemble before we do this one. And they said they cannot come. They don't want to come. I said, okay, then break yourself out of that thing. So we did direction, and from today, Agbala can count of a female, both female and then male child. Mm. But the other people in the family, no, only male child, no female. So this altar is fighting a lot of people. 
Now, order can be destroyed spiritually and it will not fight against you. But sometimes, people go to altar and then they give anointing, they pour anointing, they do this. Thing. It's very dangerous to do that. Those who were, were worship Baal before, they know that when the Baal is destroyed, the stone is destroyed, the power is still there. The power will still be fighting against those people. So my advice to people is, let us all get together, destroy bad altar. If your altar is good for you, you are not going through anything, why not carry it along? But if you feel you are also coming from a home, like Bishop Sam David, that the altar is strong, you have to come and let us destroy that altar for you. So for Jonas, your final comment. Thank mm. you. I want to explain something. Mm. In my family, our new Bekun, mm. his name Bekun, our grandfather went to Kampere and go and collect some uh, water. So he burned the meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And okay. he made some sacrifice. So he burned some small it's water you. in our family and he put something to cover it. So one of my brother. Uh, carry uh, some uh, hammer and uh, <laughs> he wants to destroy the altar. <laughs> so he destroyed the altar. He destroyed the altar. Later on, as I'm speaking, my, my, my brother is mad now. He's a mad person. So and I meet one of the pastor and he said, mm. You need to sit up and pray mm. for your family. Mm -hmm. So that the things I meet you, I join this church, I can say that my life is turning around. Mm. Uh, now, if you see my, my hand now, I am married man now. <laughs> yes. Since I married daddy, my, 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 Your brother married. my sister called me that uh, some guy saw him, he wants to come and see our family people, uh, the elders, so that... Okay, it means the line yes. is this here. So since I joined this family, uh, this church, mm. uh, my brain and uh, your teachings and your directing, uh, he, he helped me a lot. So I, I yeah, so I, I I remove myself from that mm -hmm. altar. Mm -hmm. So I can I, I am advising everybody that uh, you need to join Bishop Sam David. Come here mm -hmm. and find solution. Mm -hmm. And your life will never be the same. God bless you. And seriously, altar work for a very long time. Yes. Altar yes. work for over thousand years, four hundred years. That's it. As long as it's there. Look, that thing you're going to break with the hammer, you can break it, it's a physical thing. The thing is a spirit. Mm. It, the author owned you. Mm. He bought you. Mm. Like Jesus Christ died, he bought us with the blood forever and ever. Mm. The same like author. Yes. So, author works forever. It is only spiritual marriage that works for 35 years before it stops. Okay. When you're being married by a spirit, it will be there 35 years. Even when it's 35 years, then they will do re-engagement. They will ask your spirit and then the spiritual marriage if you want to go into a, the marriage again. 35. If you go again, 70 years, unless you die. Wow. Unless you die. Now, so if you want to break that spiritual marriage, no, it's a legal law. Legal law. Orders from your family took the, the item from that spirit and they gave you to marriage so you don't have a thing mm. now altar work for very long the only thing is you can remove yourself but and be free remove your sister but and if your prayer your direction is strong you remove you and you remove people who like you or that you like altar is good and altar is bad depending how you form it and no man of God lives without water no spiritually lives without water no family lives without water everything is by water what I'm saying is that the bad water must be dismantled and a new one be formed so your final uh, comment Papa, yeah. I want to ask this question, mm. this question. Mm. does it water kills water kills yeah Otter demands sacrifice. Otter demands sacrifice. There are families there. Every year, somebody must die. 
Mm. It is somebody who has gone for the altar and said, Oh, if you are able to help me get money, every year I will give you one family. Mm. So they got money. <laughs> so altar will automatically take whoever he likes. Mm. So if you don't know, every year, send me some family, every year somebody will die. Yes. Water kills. And it's a sacrificial for the water. Now, even if you didn't vow, you didn't agree that altar should take what? Uh, to kill. Once in the blue moon, once it's a bad altar, it will still seek for blood. Mm. For renewal of that thing. And when he gets to a certain point, author himself will take them, the, whoever he likes. That's why some family, they die, they die, they die, they die, they sacrifice. Yes. So author kills. Thank you for watching Bishop Sam David TV. Uh, we came with Sofo Yunus and Sofo Ima. And then uh, Sofo Carlos read the Bible. And then the assistant also helped. So, so far, this is where we draw our curtain. But we have not finished the discussion of altar. Because we are now going to deal with how Moses, uh, altar fought against Moses. Where is he coming from? How altar form, uh, 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 fight, uh, fought against Elisha? How? Gehazi, how? Mm. Gehazi should be a very powerful person, but Otta fought against him. Uh, and, and somewhere, Otta also fought against Elijah. Elijah must run away. What has he seen before? We will look at that. What has Jezebel, Aha, fought at Otta and fought against them? We will look at that and then uh, we will conclude so far. Keep watching Bishop Sam David TV. We will bring you good things. Thank you. Till we meet again, I said 24 gummy shots. Pow, pow, pow.